I really appreciate you joining me and we've got an update to a story that I covered several days ago in relation to the Rapper Nines. The police have released a statement to say that he's been charged with drug offences after he was arrested at Heathrow Airport. The MOBO award winning artist is accused of being concerned in the supply of cannabis which is a class B drug in the UK. The video showed Nines being escorted out of the airport by several police officers and the police said in a statement yesterday that he's been charged with the possession of cannabis and supply and was charged with three counts of breach of the serious crime prevention order by allegedly not notifying the police of his home address and also possessing a second phone and also a laptop that he didn't register with officers. Nines lives in Hertfordshire and he appeared at Uxbridge Magistrates Court last Friday. A court told Sky News that he did not enter any pleas to the charges and was granted conditional bail by the judge who was Catherine Virgis. He is due to appear at Kingston Crown Court on December the 15th for a plea and also case management hearing. Fans of the artist will know that Nines released Crop Circle 3 that peaked at number 2 in the UK charts only in October and he also won a MOBO for Best Hip Hop Act and topped the UK album charts with his third release, Crabs in a Bucket. Regular viewers of the channel will remember that we covered Nines' case when he was convicted for EncroChat related charges for importing 30 kilos of cannabis into the country. He received a year, I believe, in prison, 18 months or something like that. He served several months in prison and he was released. So on release, this is when he was subjected, the court has said today, to a serious crime prevention order, which is what they put in place to people that they believe were involved in serious criminality. One of the most recent examples will be Curtis Warren. He was released from prison for serious drug offences and the National Crime Agency charged him with committing numerous breaches of his serious crime prevention order. Curtis Warren was based in Tyneside in July and he was informed of the charges at a police station in Merseyside on the 17th of November. 11 counts he has been charged with by the Crown Prosecution Service that alleged to breaches relating to having devices, travelling, vehicles, business arrangements finances and all of these are said to have been committed since he was released from prison and serious crime prevention orders are issued and done by the director of public prosecutions if you go to the cps website you'll be able to find a detailed explanation as to what this involves and to also who this can apply and it states on the website that a crown court can issue a serious crime prevention order for any serious criminal offense the person must have been convicted in the Crown Court in order for them to be able to apply for it. And it's under section 12 and 14 of the Powers of Criminal Court Sentencing Act and it came into effect in the year 2000. And they also list a series of offences that would qualify you for a serious crime prevention order. It also states on the website that a serious crime prevention order can be in place for at least five years. And the prosecution needs to prove that the person that they're trying to put this on is a serious danger to society. It also states on the website some of the guidelines relating to a breach of the order. It is said that if there is enough evidence, they will prosecute anybody that breaches a serious crime prevention order. And the summary conviction is at least 12 months in prison. So these are very serious offences that Nines has been charged with and we're going to speak as little as possible so as not to affect any trial that does happen. But I'll definitely keep you updated on the outcome and please don't forget to drop a comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.